I'm Neil Davis, fitness trainer and health educator with Neil Davis Fitness. And on this Wellness Wednesday, I want to talk to you about sleep or the lack of sleep. And unfortunately, too many people are having problems with not getting enough sleep. We know that diet's important. We know that exercise is important. We know that uh, your mental health is important, but sleep is important as well. And so there are certain things that could be preventing you from getting your sleep. And I just want to talk about those things and come up with some solutions that we can have in order to make sure you're getting enough sleep. The first thing I want to talk about is in regards to your mental health, anxiety. If you're someone who's anxious, it is going to keep you up at night. If you're always thinking about, oh my goodness, what do I have to do at work tomorrow? If that's causing um, you to be anxious, if it's a relationship, whatever it is that's causing the anxiety, anxiety can have a major um, effect on how you sleep or uh, making sure that you get enough sleep. It can definitely cause a deficit. The next thing I want to talk about is depression. People who are depressed, at least 90% of those also uh, mentioned that they had a lack of sleep as well. So it's important to make sure that you're getting enough um, sleep and make sure that your depression, if you're depressed, that you're finding ways to deal with that because it can definitely be taking time off, uh, messing with your mental health and also taking away from your sleep. So depression and anxiety, very important to make sure you get a handle on that. The third thing is with napping. You want to take at the most 20 to 30 minutes is what sleep experts recommend per day. Three and four hour naps is not the way to cut it. It's definitely going to affect or will definitely have an effect on your sleeping pattern at night. So if you're going to nap, you want to nap at the same time each day and no longer than about 20 to 30 minutes in regards to napping. Next thing is caffeine. You want to make sure that if you're consuming caffeine, it's first thing in the morning. You shouldn't be consuming it at all, but if you're going to consume it, trying to get it in the afternoon and then expecting to, to get enough sleep, it can be a problem because it takes normally about five to six hours for that caffeine to wear off. So it's important to make sure that you're not consuming too much caffeine, especially in the afternoons when you're trying to go to bed. The last thing I want to talk about is sleep disorders. So it's important to make sure if you're having um, problems sleeping that you might want to get a sleep study if someone's telling you that there's excessive snoring and your breathing isn't going right when you're asleep it's important to get a sleep a sleep study restless leg syndrome and sleep apnea which i have personally is something that can definitely be a problem and it's something that can be easily fixed um when when you can get a, a machine that can help you with your breathing and help you to get a much better sleep at night it's not the sexiest thing in the world but again it's not always about that. It's about making sure we're being our healthiest self. So it's important to make sure that you can get that checked out as well. So you want to make sure you're checking for sleep disorders, dealing with depression, dealing with anxiety, making sure we're not consuming uh, too much caffeine and being careful with how we nap. Again, this has been Neil Davis with Neil Davis Fitness, reminding you to be the best possible version of yourself, making sure that we're doing our best to get enough sleep. Until next week, have a great day.